just wrote a whole lot. But um, anyways, with that being said, I was crying while I was writing it. And then all of a sudden, mysteriously, it's been happening over and over again. The writing just disappeared. But anyways, to make a long story short, you know, I've been trying to get to the fucking witch McCalling of what's really going on with this curse. And it just keeps rounding back to that fucking nigger. Their insanity. I'm going to say it right now. There's a reason why I dropped this fucking docs. I'm about to say it. I almost was about to, but I'm higher self caught myself. With that being said, I'm going to show you the pictures and I'm going to do a much longer video tomorrow talking about it. It's some evil fucking shit that I'm up against and I want to fucking kill that fucking nigger. That Mayate. Their insanity. And I'm going to say something right now. Him and his accomplice... Alex Nasi Manto, it's supposed to be a roach attachment. You can use 7,000 hertz frequency to go get rid of that motherfucker. When I first moved to this neighborhood, it was very nice. As a matter of fact, I remember getting off the bus. South Central, by the way, calling the motherfucking home. That motherfucker is a Puerto Rican. I don't know if it's an ancestor of mine or what. Went around fucking with a little old Mexican man. They be fucking with people who they feel could potentially fucking help you. That's how curses work. And Alex Nascimento is a curse. He got removed from my body at the age of five when he came around. With that being said, he started fucking with this little innocent little Mexican man that be selling clothes and stuff down the street. I may show y'all so y'all can spiritually protect this guy. <clears throat> fucking with him. He even went over there and he was the catalyst for why all this shit's happening with that Santa Workday shop. I'm still unclear as to what the fuck is going on. Because, you know, I'm getting reports about the highest self, Maria Santana, whatever her name is, is an asshole. But when I went there to get the reading, I even told them people, use severe spiritual protection. Because what I got on me is some evil fucking shit. And it just, it, it runs in tandem with fucking remove timelines, every fucking thing. With that being said, he saw them that them people were going to fucking help me out and went over there and fucked with them people. Make a long story short, this is how evil this fucking curse is. Because these motherfuckers, you know, I'm going to say this right now. They sacrificed my motherfucking family from what I felt and what I saw in that original timeline. Going back to when I was taken out of my body. But from what I understand, from what I saw, Alex Nasi Nanto, and from what I understand, Satan. Who I used to be, still is to some degree a worshiper of. I'm just trying to get some clarity on the situation. With that being said, going back months ago, I would say almost last year, they hurled drinking urges to induce you to drink so that they can justify fucking you up spiritually. So anyways, with that being said, I was drinking and, you know, I, I had my ancestors, everybody coming forward. You know, I remember from what I heard in the past, their insanity and his highest self, they like to fuck up your consciousness. You know, um, I ain't gonna lie, I dropped their docs in the past because I'm tired of the shit. And for some strange reason, that original timeline can't be pierced. With that being said, um, them evil motherfuckers, um, he had my ancestors in the past sign a soul contract so that they can't help me in the future and I stay under heavy curses. Their insanity is nothing like what you've read about. He's an evil, sadistic motherfucker in his high self. They like to destroy and fuck up your consciousness. Don't deal with that motherfucker. Don't work with that evil ass son of a bitch. With that being said, from what I'm understanding, I'm, they're trying to manipulate my consciousness right now. They were fucking with my lone uh, child spirit guy. And she plays a significant role in this, I'm going to tell you. Months ago... My ancestors were starting to come out the woodwork and help me out. You know, again, Alex Nascimento and Baron Samity screwed my ancestors out of my consciousness. Entity attachments of them as well screwed them out of my head so I would have no spiritual help. The only reason behind why I'm being kept alive, and I'm going to go ahead and say it right now, is because going back to that August 22nd, 2022 timeline, which Baron Samity runs, I got kicked out of my um, body by them two entities, as I named before. I'm being used to keep her alive in that body. It's supposed to be a young woman. Her name is, um, I got a Veronica Gilgi, a Jessica De La Torre. I feel like I'm running in circles with this fucking curse because I feel like I can just, it, 
you know, when I'm dealing with it, it seems preposterously high being taken out of your body, removed from a timeline. It just, you know, that's why I'm always asking for fucking spiritual help. Um, I got a uh, Denise Abel or something. Um, they keep tearing that timeline away from me. I had Satan that, you know, from what I understand, it was going to tear that timeline away from me and keep me from being able to access it. I mean, this is, it's fucking sadistic. You know, basically, I'm only being kept alive to keep that body running, to keep that person in my body running, just like it as was done with Kanye West. I did a video about that. Keep him or her alive in that body. And meanwhile, all of my blessings, spiritual powers, gets funneled to that person in that timeline that's in my body. You know, I saw it through my third eye one night, you know, again, all that shit's compromised. I heard about it spiritually, but I still don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, I constantly have my astral body parts torn apart every single fucking night and given the fuck to the fucking people, supposedly to this person in that timeline on the August 22nd, 2002 20 timeline, as well as to the people who cursed me. Make a long story short, Last time I gave into the drunken urge, my ancestors were starting to come out the woodwork, white, black, everybody. Next thing I motherfucking know, I wake up and find that my body and the astral plane was placed in the blender. And so was my lone child spirit guide. It's a chair, it's a chair faced child. I even had to create a spirit guide recently, a child spirit guide, because the real one is dead. She got killed all by Baron Samity and all this evil ass shit. That's an evil fucking nigger. I want to say the N-word so fucking bad. And I want to say what his real name is. As a matter of fact, when I dropped his docs last time, it was nothing but fucking Pete's in calm. With that being said, he placed my body in the blender. And when I started asking for spiritual help, I had Mexicans coming out the woodwork and they were really good at putting me back together. This motherfucker was putting entity attachments designed to make me get bullied and harried by Mexicans in the astral plane and tormented mercilessly to the point where this motherfucker had me hating them goddamn people for no fucking reason. Yeah, I know there are certain treats that's irrevocable, but I don't really have a problem with them. I'm a racist motherfucker, but I'm an equal opportunist rape racist. You can hear me call people the N-word and everything. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and say it like this, man. I'm stuck in motherfucking hell. This evil shit has me stuck in straight up motherfucking torment to the point where I feel fucking isolated. I have no spiritual protection. He came, was made as part of a curse. She was meant to sacrifice me. One of the gods that you see around me, you can use 694 hertz as well as 925 hertz, is a Roman soldier. A good friend of mine was actually explaining to me uh, when I was talking about how my astral body was placed in the realm in the astral plane that's ran by Baal or Moloch called Istanbul, that the site of Istanbul is where the Eastern Roman Empire used to be, and it was named Constantinople right before it fell. And it was there at that site that Jesus, or Jesus, I mean, this curse runs deep with me, was made a sacrifice. And that's a long story for another time. He got sacrificed because of what I used to preach back in the day, the Demiurge and all of that. And from what I understand, Baron Samity is supposed to be one of the big time gods administering it or bringing people to that hell realm who shouldn't be brought. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. I have no spiritual protection and I have no fucking spirit team. I'm going to go ahead and say this right now, every single fucking day, there's a reason behind why I do these videos. There's, I only have, I mean, it's, it's horrible what's been happened to me. I'm going to try to articulate myself as best as possible. 
You know, I'm just going to say it right now. It's fucked up how they have tried to isolate me from spiritual fucking protection. Fucked up my connection to fucking Santa birthday and all of that. It's it's fucked up. And I wish I would have just fucking seen the bigger fucking picture. It's evil what the fuck I'm facing. And it's hard to explain what I'm going through. Because... It's one of those things that's just, it's sight unseen. You can't see what a person is going through because you have, to the naked eye, invisible entities doing invisible things. But anyways, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and say this. I witnessed that in that timeline, I lost my family. My, you know, I had my, my father I witnessed had entity attachments of gay people placed on them to make him hate fucking gays. It's something about these people putting entity attachments on you to keep you from getting spiritual help. Um, and it was done by that Alex Nascimento entity. That's why I just started dropping their docs. You know, again, he's a parasite, roach attachment, the real one. It's a spirit that's connected to it. It's pure fucking evil. And I've been trying to figure out how to fucking get rid of them. And I can't for the life of me. Um, With that being said, I'll just say it like this. I have no fucking spiritual protection. I have nothing looking out for me. Everything that I have in my body and my consciousness is geared towards being against me and fucking with me. And that's the summation of what I wanted. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest. Um, you know, these things like to confuse the living fuck out of you. You know, keep you stuck in your consciousness in hell realms. You know, again, the only reason why I'm not, well... What I understand, I have, they even, these evil motherfuckers, the Alex Nascimento entity, my Raziel, it, it just, it goes deep with this curse. Brought in an entity attachment uh, named Dan Arcienica, which is connected to Mikey Hernandez's ancestor something, as well as my dad's past life to fuck me up, um, to keep me stuck under the curse. And I'm just going to say this right now. They're going to come at you using a fucking bullshit-ass theoretical timeline to justify keeping me as a sacrifice. Don't fall for it. I'm actually a very good fucking person who goes out of their way to fucking help people out. PK tried to fuck with my conscience. I remember during that time. And take that away. Take that goodness away. That's some fucked up evil shit to do that to somebody. To want to take their life, their heart, what makes them a good person away from it. That's what the fuck I'm dealing with. I'm going to try to articulate as best as I can with what I'm fucking dealing with. But I have no spiritual help. I have no spiritual help outside of a lone child spirit guide. These evil, sadistic motherfuckers. Their insanity. And to some degree, he came. You know, um, from what I saw, it's controlled by one of the people who cursed me, but their insanity is autonomous. Um, They keep trying to kill this child off and destroy her every single motherfucking day so that I have no spiritual help. I'll never forget the time where they had a young Mexican kid who used to watch me here who tried to hustle and get some money for me, you know, because I was staying at a shelter. And their insanity decided to come in and pretend to help, but instead took all of my money and my stupid ass ancestors because that was the strongest spiritual protection at the time. He really is no spiritual protection for me. Just in a way let him because they, they, you know, from the last time he took me over as a sacrifice, they were just like, you know, what else can you do?
you know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm quite certain a lot of people watch my videos and they're like, you're supposed to be successful. He came. I'm going to say this right now. And I did it in the video to quote Baron Sam. I mean, Sergeant Barnes from Platoon. When the machine breaks down, we all break down. I have no spiritual protection. EK, Baron Sanity especially, are all against me. And that motherfucker works for the people who curse me. He doesn't work with me. And he wanted me as a sacrifice for a long time. So I've been on my own ever since. And, um... With that being said, I saw in that timeline, my parents are both dead, my mother and dad. I witnessed my poor spirit guy who's helpless get fucked with and then blamed for getting fucked with every single fucking day. And I love that spirit guy because she's right or die. She's the only thing that's been keeping me alive as much as she can, even when she can't stay alive. These evil motherfuckers have tried to distance me from spiritual help. Make me, to keep me stuck as a sacrifice. Hates a certain fucking people and show off a, a, a timeline to, to justify keeping me as a sacrifice. That's what the fuck I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with pure evil between Baron Samity and Alex Nascimento. And for some strange reason, Baron Samity is the gatekeeper of that timeline. I don't know why, but he can be touched. And that's why I'd be doing these blocks. They may come off as if I'm fucking crazy as schizo to the untrained eye, but trust me. I have no spiritual help. My higher the highest selves are paid to look the other fucking way. They do the bare minimum of making sure I'm alive so I can act as few for that person in that timeline. I have no spiritual help. I have nothing but fucking spiritual bullies eating at my doorsteps. And I have to rely upon other fucking people, their ancestors, their higher the highest selves, their spiritual team and protection to come in and help me out. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and say for the record. That's why when you see me do these fucking videos, it's a cry for help. Because I literally have nothing. And that fucking, I can kill that fucking nigger for this shit. I feel like I'm at the fucking mercy. Because it's very complex of evil ass shit. To get my shit back. And I'm just. I'm put. Into a game of fucking hell. In hell realms. That can ultimately keep me stuck in hell realms. For the rest of my life. You know to some degree. I actually started to get spiritual protection. Just like. When I was alive. I don't know what's going on. Just like back in the day, I was able to get on game show networks without prejudice. Rock of Love to Brett Michaels because of Satan. That's why it hurt me to find out what was going on with that. And I didn't want to believe it. I didn't even want to fucking believe the thing with Baron Samity. I gave him a fair shake. But every night, I would have my consciousness cored out, torn out. Everything taken from me. I saw that my dad in that timeline... I feel something removing that entity attachment right now was taken out of his body by Alex Nascimento, who also sacrificed my brother as well. I got rid of him, or I've been trying as much as I can, but this shit just inexplicably keeps coming back. I, it's because of bare insanity. With that being said, I saw my higher selves we're all working with my enemy even kind of showed me that my dad was stuck in the road trail. He got taken out of his body and replaced by an ancestor who was irresponsible, who was a drunker, the druggie. Basically fucking up my dad's body 
and fucking up my dad's ability to be able to get back. And my dad has been stuck in hell realms and he has no plane ever since. So it's the same with my mother. My poor mama. It kills me to see how I was when I was a child versus where I'm at. And it's all because of bare insanity. That's why I dropped them dogs. You know, I'll say it right now. At the beginning of this curse, the only help I had, you can read my story, Astral World, on my blog, was from them roach attachments. You know, every single day, every single night, I'm subject to, you know, having my shit, my astral body, my consciousness torn apart, torn out of my body and everything, and having these motherfuckers sadistically planned. Are they going to keep me from getting back into that timeline where I had my body and everything stolen? And all of my spiritual abilities and all of my blessings funnel too. And I'm supposed to expect to get back in that body. Because of, from what I understand, God. God of the third dimension. There's, all, there's God that goes all the way up to the eighth. And that's where Buddha and all of them reside. I'm not allowed to get back into my body until that time. Um, and when I do, I'm supposed to expect to stay stuck in poverty and become psychotic. And I never signed up for this shit. I never consented to no soul contracts. From what I understand, I believe in that timeline. I kept hearing that the people who cursed me were under something very evil, I think. The devil, Zenu. You know, I plan to do an article, a video about it tomorrow. You know, words can't express the despair I feel being stuck in the situation that I'm in. And to have no spiritual help, to have your consciousness torn out of you, and you're in the world and your outer world turned upside down because of truths that you just don't want to fucking face and know because I don't want to say it's it's a part of you but it's something that's designed it's supposed to protect you Baron Sanity was supposed to protect me but instead condemns me to hell I don't think I articulated myself best enough but I'll go ahead and give y'all free instance. But now I end up something bad's gonna happen tonight.
and do this video and just say it right now. I don't have any motherfucking spiritual protection. The only shit that I fucking have that's going on externally outside of me as well as within is just fucking evil ass fucking spirits. The biggest ones, their insanity, as well as he came, that seem more hell bent on fucking with me as opposed to going after the fucking people who put this shit on me. I have no fucking spiritual fucking protection. I'm gonna go ahead, go into it, and talk about what's going on. I'm, I'm trying my best because all the shit with the exception of a lone spirit child that shouldn't even be doing this shit. I had to create her because they killed my lone spirit guy. That was the only one helping me at the fucking time. They, they basically deliberately distanced me from the only entity, spirit, that would help me in order to fuck me up and keep me inundated under extreme fucking curses and under extreme duress. I'm going to say this right fucking now. A lot of people will say this about themselves, but I don't fucking deserve this shit. I did not fucking ask for this shit. To have these ignorant motherfuckers acting all out of fucking turn within. This is some evil ass motherfucking shit. And I'm going to say right now, this is why I don't fuck with Venus. I don't let wet bags anywhere near me. My timeline's for a reason. Those are some evil fucking people to have put what they fucking put on me and did what they fucking did. This is some evil ass motherfucking shit. And you can hear it in my fucking voice. I've been holding back for a long fucking time and I want to fucking cry. With that being said, because enough is a fucking enough. I have no fucking spiritual protection. When you see me get on YouTube, I don't want any, by the way, I don't want any help from no wetbacks. Y'all stay the fuck away from me. Because y'all some evil motherfuckers. Y'all are major fucking energy vampires. I even did an uh, article today talking about how, like, them motherfuckers, you play 6,000 hertz frequency, they run. They're the only group of people that run from that frequency. And that's a high-pitched frequency that's designed to repel evil entities. But it only works on them as people think about it. With that being said... These evil motherfuckers. It's a long, it's, it's gonna be a long video and I have a lot to say about this. It's, it's a lot. With that being said, all I got operating inside of me are fucking energy vampires. Evil shit that wanna tear the long fucking spiritual protection I got, the only spiritual protection, my fucking God and my connection to God ain't shit. You know, to be putting me under this this heavy ass fucking shit every single fucking day. I, I got a fucking face that lone spirit guy trying to alter things for me. Keep your wet back ass moving. Get the fuck out of here. Leave me the fuck alone. Get your wet back ass on. Get your evil ass on. Some evil ass motherfuckers. Y'all see that? That's what I'm talking about. Those motherfuckers act as evil ass fucking vessels for demonic ass motherfucking spirits while I'm trying to make a fucking speech out here. I'm doing a video, them beaners all of a sudden fucking roll up out of fucking nowhere and start shouting shit. And it's four of them. They talk about blacks don't fucking fight fair. Them motherfuckers are the worst, especially if you're black. I'm going to tell you something about their oversoul consciousness right now from what I've seen in the astral plane. It's very demonic. Those motherfuckers are extremely low vibratory. They... Which we're calling at the same frequency as 4200, as the root chakra. They vibrate at 4200. Don't let them motherfuckers, them demon seeds of Quetzalcoatl, I call them, into your timelines, into your energy, none of that. Like an African sister was telling me, they will steal your fucking shit. 
they will steal your motherfucking shit. All their creative guys from Wissakoto that's currently fucking with me right now, all the way up, are evil fucking spirits from Benares. Every single fucking one of them. I really did want to make this fucking video. I wanted to give things time, but I just, I got to fucking emote. I got to emote because it hurts to see where my life is and where I should have been as a child. I'm going to say something right now spiritually. The minute on my blog, I mentioned that Cubans and Caribbeans, I even knew a Cuban guy who didn't like them. And, uh... Other West Indian, Hispanics were okay. That motherfucker started coming out the woodwork fucking with me before they weren't fucking with me. So I'm going to tell you something right now. Let me go ahead and try to... Which McCallin, what I want to say. The minute I fucking say that, it, it just, it, it, it's like it opens up a door. I'm going to say this right now. And I did a blog talking about it. I'm going to show you something. same God as white people, as black people, they do not come from the light, whether it be the fake light or the real light. I'm going to tell you that right now. Those motherfuckers come from the darkness. I did a spiritual experiment once on myself. I removed them from my timelines, everything. Next thing I know, it got lighter. I'm telling you no lies when I tell you that. Our God, the collective God, which we as black people, white people, Asian people, even Native Americans come from, is a black man with a beard. Some people may call him the Demiurge. The wetback, on the other hand, comes from a demonic reptilian created by the name of Quetzalcoatl, as well as him evil spirits like Quetzalcoatl from Benares, that will shapeshift into a white man, but is originally something evil and very, very pernicious and very low vibration. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you about these motherfuckers plans for us in the spirit plane that I heard. You know, I'm kind of wondering in the back of my mind if this is the fucking catalyst behind why I'm so fucking oppressed spiritually. They come from darkness. White people, everybody else, they come from the light. With that being said, I did an article about it years ago. telling my bear insanity, my connection to bear insanity, to chill and not to be on no dumb shit because they plan to replace us, uh, dispose of us, displant us and take our black ancestral magic in the spirit plane. I'm going to tell you something throughout the time of this motherfucking curse. You know, notice in that article I wrote that wet back say point blank because I present myself as white in the astral plane. I look white because my higher the higher selves. That's a whole long story. Everything goes back to the bean. Everything got fucked up because of them. That's why I don't like them people to this day. I keep them people out of my timelines. I don't want anything to do with it. And I'm very strict about that. With that being said, going back to what I was talking about I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. While Baron Samity was acting a fool, I'm going to say this right now. In the past, when the wetbacks took over my bloodline, violated it with their presence alone, and moved themselves in so that they can ask your body harvest off of me, them motherfuckers 
were using my entity attachment of co uh, connection to bear insanity, which was the only spiritual protection I had and still to some degree have at the time to manipulate me into giving out his real name so that they can take not only my shit, but fuck with us. Not only that, but these beanbags right here at that Santa birthday shop. their highest self cavorting with each other about stealing my and Baron Samity's spirit money. Your spirit money is your connection to your spiritual powers as well as your existence. Without that, you're fucked. You're completely fucked. So with that being said, They were cavorting with their highest self, whose name is Maria Santana. All of them have, their highest selves have the last name Santana. They were cavorting with each other to place us in hell realms. Me and him in hell realms. So that they can steal all of our shit. And I'm supposed to be the next successor to Hecate. And they were discussing, and my future self even came to me at the time, I believe, you know, showing me that they plan to put me in fucking hell realms while paying, Santa Muerte that is, while paying off the beaners that helped put me there. I believe it's out of Mikey Hernandez's Santa Muerte. I'm going to show you his picture in a couple of minutes. Or theirs. Or both. Put me in hell realms. Where my spiritual abilities would get fucked up and taken by them. And, um, where I would be blocked from using my own shit. And they would make me look like a wetback. I'm going to be honest with you. I have a very, very illustrious bloodline. Knowing what I know, I look down upon beaners. I look down upon them people. I don't want anything to do with it. I think they're the lowest of the fucking low, the scummiest of the fucking scummies. That's why them motherfuckers came up attacking, because they knew I knew the truth about them. Don't open yourself up to them being seeds. The minute I see them come in my timelines, the minute I even feel their presence, shut it down. I don't want anything to do with them. I, I keep them out. I keep them out for a reason. Because I'm trying to protect my melanated energy, my black energy. I don't want anything to do with them evil ass motherfuckers. The spiritual battle. People are quick to talk about whites, but I have plenty of good whites in my family. Ancestors who work under Baron Salmon. Not a lot of people know this. Dan Aykroyd was one. Or is one. You doing the video, man, because it's about to get fucked up. You know, like I said, I never had a good spirit team to begin with. From the beginning, all my shit is all fucked up from the get-go. I just, this is, this is some evil ass shit. And it's, it's a lot for me to talk about. It's a lot. So try to bear with me. Uh, I had to stop for a moment because, because of all the shit I got on me, my head is all fucked up. I'm going to say this right now. People who are fucking serial killers don't have the shit going on that I currently got in my motherfucking head. This, it's like a fucking major fucking conspiracy. I'm gonna I'm try to, you know, because I, I don't have a lot of consciousness left. Try to keep everything intact. Try to keep my sanity intact because my shit is all fucked up. It, it's a long fucking story. I'm not gonna lie to you when I say it. It includes Satan. It's a red dragon, by the way. It includes Alex Nascimento here.
motherfucker at the age of five, he actually jumped into my consciousness. And next thing I know, from what I understand, my higher, the higher selves at the time. And I'm just going to say it right now for the record, they're all white women. That's why I present this white in the astral plane. That's why that beanbag, when he took Baron Samity's place, say you're protected because you're white. Because I'm seen as white in the astral plane. With that being said, this is some evil ass motherfucking shit. I got on me and I'm trying to figure out, oh, this is what I wanted to say. At the age of five, this sadistic motherfucker actually showed up. My higher, the higher self saw what the fuck he was for what the fuck he was and moved his ass right on out. This is, this is evil. And I'm going to say this right now. Seeing what happened in that original timeline where I got taken out of my fucking body for no motherfucking reason. It's a long story and it's a lot for me to explicate. And seeing where I'm at in fucking life and how I'm being fucking manipulated. This is the most evil motherfucking shit. It, 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 it destroys me. It hurts me. You know, I'm just going to fucking spill the beans on everything. Don't fuck up shit more than what it's already been fucked up. Again, I have no spiritual protection. I have no spirit team outside of a fucking child that all of these evil ass motherfuckers, he came. Uh, it's, uh, I, I believe based on what I saw, she's mixed with this white broad by the name of Ingrid Hybrid. It's this big old fat German bitch. That at the start of this curse, I actually heard her um, speaking over um, the phone. I heard her over the phone and she was speaking. And she was with a bunch of fucking wet bags. And with that being said, they were all laughing. There was a bunch of people from Malibu who um, I'm just, I'm trying to get trying to get everything together mentally because it, it's when something hurts your fucking consciousness you're far your consciousness it, it's like your heart chakra which is also another point of your consciousness your mental area your consciousness becomes fucked you're fucked everything is gone with that being said I'm just going to go into detail about what's going on from what I'm understanding, going back to Miracle Mile, I used to walk around shirtless with a Trump sign. I'm a big fan of Trump, and then later on I started to understand why, by seeing the odious nature of the wet bag. I'll show you a picture of myself back in my old neighborhood. Some beanbags around there put a fucking deadly curse on me. And it's the same people who I'm just, I'm trying to get exactly what the story is. I think it's more than likely these people here. You know, I've been trying to figure out who put this fucking shit on me because like I said, everything, I got everything internally working against me and nothing except that child and ancestors, including Egyptian ancestors working with me. You know, all the way up to the gods, but, you know, and black ancestors and a few white ancestors. And I hate to say it, a few fucking Nazis. You know, I actually had like a lot of fucking people come through for this curse, but during this curse. A lot of people come out and try to help. A lot of ancestors. And then this ain't got no beanbags in my family. Anyways, with that being said, I had this curse put on. I know it's beanbags, but I'm not really sure as to who. You know, I'm trying to find out in the spirit plane. With that being said, going back to Alex Nascimento again, the story isn't that clear. I'm just, because this, it hurts. It hurts what I'm fucking internally going through. And it hurts because of the fact that you can't see what the fuck is going on with me. You know, this is an evil fucking curse in part. They take your entity attachments, turn them against you, which is what's going on. I have a lot of my body, a lot of my shit strewn around in the astral plane, and just nothing working with me, but everything working against me. Like I say, I have nothing. 
And that hurts more than anything to fucking say. To be at a fucking disadvantage. To have nothing. My roommate, who's a fucking drunk, possibly a drug addict, but I love her because she prays for me every single fucking night. I don't even have a fucking God. I don't deserve this shit because I was always a good fucking person. I don't deserve this shit. What I'm dealing with. I've been trying to hold it in for the longest, but this shit hurts. The fact that every fucking thing is working against me. I have no spirit team. I have no spiritual help. And I got to deal with this shit on my motherfucking own. And nobody... Unless people have been through it. Not even schizophrenics go through this shit. They have maybe ancestors that all of a sudden becomes tranquilized that can speak to them in their head. And there's ways to silence that. 17,000 hertz, 12,000 hertz, um, 6,000 hertz, which gets rid of red bags. There's a bunch of others. I'm going to go in and, and just, you know, do this video. There's a bunch of frequencies that work. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones that are crucial. So anyways, um, there's a bunch of others. You know, I'm just going to say it right now. Hey, brother, how you doing, sir? I mean, because this is, this is fucking evil. It, it's, it's like these motherfuckers are literally, they did the same thing with my motherfucking dad where they were putting entity attachments on him, making him hate fucking, trying to get him his whole self to hate gay people so they can justify keeping him to a curse. That's exactly what happened to me, you know, after I fucking drunk. They, they put fucking alcohol urges on you to induce you to fucking drink. You know, through Alex Nascimento, so you feel compelled to fucking drink, and then they could tear up your body from there because you're unconscious, and therefore your spirit team is down. Um, with that being said, last time I had a drinking urge, me and, and the child, only a fucking child, putting myself back together. We had a great fucking timeline and everything. My consciousness wasn't where it should be. You know, I can hear at the beginning of these curse, these motherfuckers talking about as a reframe. We want to change your consciousness. Something out of fucking envy. This Ingrid Hybern got woke by some wetbacks on the PCH. She took it out on me. It's a long fucking story and it's a lot to tell. It's a lot that I got to tell. But anyways, with that being said, I woke up the next morning. You know, especially with something like this, I know you... It's stressful. And when you get urges, you want to fucking drink just to take your mind off of it. You're in a human body. You got that fucking right. And next thing I know, my body ended up in the blender. I'm missing a lot of my astral body parts, as well as aspects of myself. And Alex Nascimento, it's this entity here. And I saw him coming in 2020, uh, 2022, right before I went to jail. And that curse hit. Right before that curse hit. Make a long story short, I was going to do well. My ancestors were starting to come in. They were starting to put me together. My white ancestors, black ancestors, my family. Everything was beautiful. I drunk to celebrate. And I also had an incredible fucking urge. You know, I, I did something where I altered my hair color. They, they, they do something where, from what I understand in the roach realm, it's all about changing your, your consciousness. You know, trying to mind control you and shit. And so I did something where I just changed my hair color and then, bam, he came around and... It's like you barely have any consciousness when you're in the roach realm. Next thing I know, he puts my astral body in a blender and fucks me up fucks everything up for me. And I'm just like in a state of fucking shock. 
I wake up and I'm just like, what the fuck did I do? What, what This motherfucker was going to my family and fucking with them, to my dad and my mother and fucking with them. I'll show you right here.